So what faith is, is a function. And I want to talk to you in terms of, from an anatomy standpoint, the heart pumps. And the heart, its job is to pump. But there's something called blood or hemoglobin, however you want to look at it, depending on, you know, from a scientific standpoint. Okay. It's pumping blood throughout your body. The blood on the inside could be used or looked at as hope. Because what hope does in the function of faith is it adds color to the function of what faith is doing. Faith is going to, to operate in a function that's going to bring something into the natural, but hope adds color to what that is. Hope brings specificity to what is coming into fruition. That desire is like adding color to the function of faith. As we give faith something to do, the hope brings specificity into what faith is going to do. Now, how does this operate? Go back to God in Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter one, we get to see a full illustration of how the beautiful creativity of God went to work. And faith came up and all God did was speak. And when God spoke, he said, let there be light. Nobody knew what light was. There was no definition of light. But God had that hope and that desire to when he spoke it, it came into what met God's, God's approval to where he said, it is good. And then God was very specific about trees and vegetation and bringing the seas and how everything was lined up in design and mountains and, and the sea creatures and naming animals. God was very specific about what was coming forth. And in the same aspect, we have to be very specific into what is coming forth. Faith is saying, yes, I want to do it. Yes, I want to bring it forth. But what are we bringing forth? Because what hope does is hope brings full confirmation into what was once a desire into the natural, but hope confirms that it came into fruition because there were specific details. I'm hoping to one day become a business owner. I'm hoping to one day start a charity or a foundation. I am hoping to go to college and receive a scholarship. I am hoping to, 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 to better the community. I am hoping to, to one day run for office. Whatever those things are, hope is everything that is specific that faith is going to work and bring into fruition. Other than that, faith is just pumping. But what it's pumping is that hope that's on the inside. This is how they make up the substance that faith is. This is why we say faith is not just a substance, but it's the substance. The substance of all substances, because look at everything that it takes to make faith work. Look at everything that it takes to allow faith to come into fruition. Faith cannot bring specificity into what it is that you're asking for if there is no hope. Again, God says he wants to give you a hope and a future, those desires. And faith wants to team up with that to bring it into the natural. But we have to make sure that the, folk, that the hope that we have is of good, godly nature. All right? So, so again, I want us to understand that because what God did was God, he set the pattern for being specific about our desires and our hopes. And, and what we want to understand is manifesting of our hopes. It confirms that faith did its job. Faith has a job to do. And that hope, when it, when it lines up with that hope and brings it into full manifestation, the confirmation that faith did its job is that that hope has now become a reality, come into the natural now, as we're still talking about hope, again, which is a feeling of expectation, I want to talk briefly about this word, expectations. And we're about to wrap this up. And I want to thank all of y'all for joining in. Those that have joined us on Zoom, God bless you. I thank you very much. Those on Facebook Live, I really appreciate you. And those that are hanging in there on We Talk Radio, let's talk about expectations because that word can oftentimes become convoluted. It can be used in a negative sense if we're not careful, okay? It can be used in, in, as a form to, to, to really 
become so hardened on some things, but let's talk about expectations and how it aligns in the full function of faith. Now, expectation, okay, is a Latin word. And it's a Latin word that means an awaiting. And awaiting, the word await. And otherwise, it is simply the act or state of expecting. It is simply the act or state of expecting. Now, expect, expect, expectations, excuse me, are important in the function of faith because the expectations help bring assurance in our waiting. Expectations help bring assurance in our waiting. Okay? We expect something to happen. We are awaiting on something to manifest. That hope that was sitting in the bleachers, when we put an expectation on that hope, now faith can say, let's do this, let's go to work, because now you're ready to believe in the substance. Now you're ready to believe that it's time to come out of the bleachers and get some playing time. So when expectations line up with your hope, faith is now ready to recruit it and bring it forth. 